Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight Wars? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on a legend and two big dogs in this fight game. We have the legendary Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fighter of all time, the five division world champion, the man that helped revolutionize the boxing game and take the game out of the promoter's hands and put it into the fighter's hands. And he also is the president of, of Mayweather Promotions. Then we have Terrence T. Boyle Crawford, the three division world champion, the former undisputed and the current WBO welterweight world champion. Then we have the the, the number one welterweight in the world, the king of the welterweight division, Earl the True Spence Jr., the IBF, the WBC, and the Super WA Unified World Champion. Everyone, we all know we're trying to get this fight done with ESJ and Terrence Bud Crawford. This is the fight we all want. This is the fight that both of the fighters want. This is the fight of the year of 2022, right? We know Earl Spence has done everything he said he was going to do to make this fight as big as possible as big as possible and he did everything everything he said he was going to do collect all the belts over on the pbc side then fight turns bud crawford who was with top rank at the time but now he's a free agent ej never never stirred away from what he said he was going to do even through his trials and tribulations the man came back and kept shit on course how he wanted his career to go and on the way he grew bigger grew a bigger fan base as well when it comes to this man right here, Floyd Money Mayweather, who wanted to sign Earl Spence after the spawn that they had and just hearing about Earl Spence and saying everything that he's, he's done right inside the ring as a professional leading up, you know, to him getting ready for his fight with Robert the Ghost Guerrero. You know, if y'all don't know Earl Spence, spoil Floyd Mayweather to get ready for Robert the Ghost Guerrero. And y'all y'all gonna look at how short Floyd Money Mayweather was. So he know the impact of Earl Spence Jr., right? He know the impact of Earl Spence Jr. Like I said, he wanted to sign him as well, but it fell through. You know what I'm saying? It, like, like Earl wasn't trying to sign with Floyd because he betted on himself with Al Heyman. The same man that made Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather forced the money. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes when Floyd can't sign somebody, Floyd starts feeling some type of way. Even though he can still show them love and respect, he still feel like these fighters should be signing with him. You understand? Now, in this situation with Terrence T. Bud Crawford, we looking at Bud Crawford right now, who don't have a promoter, who left Bob Arum, right? Floyd Mayweather, who he come from? Bob Arum, right? Um, Floyd Mayweather complained about Bob Arum not knowing how to promote him. Terrence Crawford, now he's complaining about Bob Arum don't know how to promote him. So when Floyd see those type of things, and he feel like Terrence Crawford, you kind of like me, right? You was over there. The only thing was I got away, you stayed. You know, you couldn't flourish. You couldn't show all your talent. But now, you should come to me, Terrence Bud Crawford. Come to me and let me guide the rest of your career. Let me manage you and let me show you, well, let me promote you and let me show you that I can make you to a star like I did Javante Tank Davis, right? That's Floyd pitch to Terrence Bud Crawford. And with that pitch going to Terrence Bud Crawford and Bud thinking about it and them having back and forth conversations because they are having back and forth conversations. Then when it comes to this fight with Bud and Earl Spence, you know, Mayweather's telling him, okay, I'm close to Al. I know how the business works. I know what you're worth. I know what you can get. You know what I'm saying? I'm with Steven Espinosa. I know how it works with Showtime. I know what you're worth. I know what you can get. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So Floyd's in terms of Crawford Earth, and people don't want to admit this shit. They want to bring up all this other shit, fam. All that other shit is irrelevant. It's irrelevant, fam. You understand? Not no fucking Dan Kennedy, no shit over there with MTK Global. None of that shit is holding up the fight. Floyd Mayweather and Terrence Bud Crawford Ur is holding up the fucking fight. That's the truth of the matter. You understand? That's the truth of the matter. Not no Steven Espinosa, not none of that shit. Floyd Mayweather and Bud Crawford Ur is holding up the fight and is fucking up EJ's situation. You know what I mean? Well, I ain't gonna say it's fucking trying to wreck EJ's situation. We're going into the ring and becoming the undisputed welterweight world champion if he defeats Terrence Bud Crawford. You feel me? So when Floyd get to talking and saying these things, man, Bud is listening because why? Well, Floyd been over there his, his, almost his, his entire career, but he made a billion dollars over there. He got the pool over there. He got the pool with Steven Espinosa. So if he say something, automatically it's a go because he said it. No, if, it, if, if it's a go, it's because of Al Heyman said it. You understand? You dealing with PBC and Earl the True Spence Jr. Not PBC, Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions, unless Terrence Bud Crawford has signed or got some type of agreement to let Floyd, you know, manage him and, and promote him 
on the low just to show him what he can do for him to wheel a man to TMT. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, you don't have to sign to me right now, but just let me show you what I can do for you. Don't sign that contract. Just wait till I tell you to sign it, right? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say this. Don't do nothing. I want you to do this and say this, and don't do nothing until I say sign for this and sign for that. You know, even if they offer you a great fucking deal, you can always get more. How Floyd Mayweather probably talking to terms with Crawford because we know how Floyd get down. You understand what I'm saying? So when I'm looking at the situation, fam, Earl Spence is ready. He's ready. He already bending for this man to give him things that he don't deserve. Taking money out of his own pockets, out of his kids, taking food out of his kid's mouth to give it to Terrence Bud Crawford. And these are just facts. He's willing to do that shit. But now Bud is stalling, asking for more than what the fuck he deserve. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling y'all, this man Floyd Mayweather is right there advising, bro. He's advising. Listen to what he's saying on the, on the Fight Hype interviews and shit. You know, I know what it takes. All they have to do is listen to me. And you think Terrence Bud Crawford not listening because he's trying to get as much as he can get? You feel me? So when I look at this situation, bro, I am paying attention to the one man that can influence Terrence Bud Crawford the most. You understand? And I feel like that one man is Floyd Money Mayweather. You did. Bud can pick up the phone and call Floyd anytime. He showed that when he was looking at one of Floyd fighters. You know? And Floyd won't turn Bud Crawford under his promotion company bad as fuck. He won't turn Bud Crawford under Mayweather's promotion bad as fuck. He's willing to do whatever he has to do to get that man to TMT. Whatever he got to do. Because he never had another name like that up under the banner um, outside of Javante Tank Davis. He never had another big star that was riding up under Mayweather promotions. And with Terrence Bud Crawford, you know, being made already, you understand? For us, his, his, his situation of being a three-division world champion already established. Floyd don't have to really put too much work in to try to show people that um that he can build them up. But all he got to do is go out there and make the big fights happen for turns. Bud Crawford that's at the welterweight division or maybe at the super welterweight division because Bud talking about the super welterweight division. But when we look at the whole situation and all, it stalls what Earl the True Spence Jr. wants and what Earl Spence is willing to do for turns. Bud Crawford because Bud want to play hardball and, and, you know, try to fuck up this man's legacy or his opportunity to go out here and become undisputed, you know? And I tell y'all this all the time. Mayweather won't turn Bud Crawford to beat Earl Spence and Jamil Cholo. Floyd Mayweather won't turn Bud Crawford to beat Earl Spence and Jamil Cholo. He do. He do. You feel me? And he feel like Bud is the man to do it. And he feel like if he can have him up under his resume, up under his promotion company, and add Earl Spence and, and, and Jamil Cholo to Bud's resume, he gonna feel like he did the best thing in turns Bud Crawford career in just a short period of time. As, as, as Bob Arm had Bud for however long he had him, what he done for Bud is way bigger than what Bob did. And he's going to use that to promote TMT promotions and to try to pull fighters into, you know, under his umbrella. You know, smart tactic. Smart tactic. I don't, I'm not mad at it at all. But all I'm saying is quit stalling um, the Earl Spence fight and let's see how it go down. Let's see how it go down. Quit stalling the Earl Spence fight. And if you can get Bud, and if you, if you want him as bad as you want, right, then help make the fucking fight happen with EJ. And if you believe in Bud so much for that he's going to beat EJ, then you shouldn't have no worries. Because if you beat him, that look good on your behalf. And now you did what you told him you can do. And now you can have him sign to you. And you can go try to create the history that you want to create with him. Period. But quit trying to stall this shit and quit trying to squeeze every dollar out of people and let this shit happen because the deal on the table is great for Terrence Bud Crawford ass. It's great at the end of the day. You feel me? Let Earl Spence be great. Stay out of that man's business in the beginning. If you want Bud Crawford, make this fight happen for the people. And if you really believe in Bud Crawford, then you shouldn't have to worry about nothing. Period, fam. Because by you want to sign this man, you're trying to do too much. And you go fuck up the fight for the people at the end of the day. You know what I mean? You don't speak for Earl Spence. You're speaking for Terrence Bud Crawford. EJ already put your ass on blast saying you don't speak for him. Period, fam. So Al need to do what he got to do to get your ass out the way of this, man, and make this fucking fight happen. Period. You understand? 
Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App? Trey have to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status family.